to Sound Bites Academy. Let's talk about exams. How did you feel about the exam you took today? Was it difficult or manageable? How did you feel about the exam you took today? Was it difficult or manageable? How did you feel about the exam you took today? Was it difficult or manageable? How did you feel about the exam you took today? Was it difficult or manageable? Have you started preparing for the final exam yet? I highly recommend creating a study plan to stay on track. Have you started preparing for the final exam yet? I highly recommend creating a study plan to stay on track. Have you started preparing for the final exam yet? I highly recommend creating a study plan to stay on track. Have you started preparing for the final exam yet? I highly recommend creating a study plan to stay on track. Exam anxiety can be really challenging to manage. Do you have any strategies that work for you? Exam anxiety can be really challenging to manage. Do you have any strategies that work for you? Exam anxiety can be really challenging to manage. Do you have any strategies that work for you? Exam anxiety can be really challenging to manage. Do you have any strategies that work for you? Yesterday's exam had a surprising essay question that was outside our syllabus. Can you tell me more about it? Yesterday's exam had a surprising essay question that was outside our syllabus. Can you tell me more about it? Yesterday's exam had a surprising essay question that was outside our syllabus. Can you tell me more about it? Yesterday's exam had a surprising essay question that was outside our syllabus. Can you tell me more about it? I think it's a great idea to form a study group for the midterm exam. It's a good way to share ideas and support each other. I think it's a great idea to form a study group for the midterm exam. It's a good way to share ideas and support each other. I think it's a great idea to form a study group for the midterm exam. It's a good way to share ideas and support each other. I think it's a great idea to form a study group for the midterm exam. It's a good way to share ideas and support each other. Checking exam results online can be nerve wracking. Would you like me to check them for you instead? Checking exam results online can be nerve wracking. Would you like me to check them for you instead? Checking exam results online can be nerve wracking. Would you like me to check them for you instead? Checking exam results online can be nerve wracking. Would you like me to check them for you instead? Congratulations on getting an A on your math exam. I knew you had it in you. Congratulations on getting an A on your math exam. I knew you had it in you. Congratulations on getting an A on your math exam. I knew you had it in you. Congratulations on getting an A on your math exam. I knew you had it in you. Everyone has their own preferred exam preparation methods. 
What are some techniques that work for you? Everyone has their own preferred exam preparation methods. What are some techniques that work for you? Everyone has their own preferred exam preparation methods. What are some techniques that work for you? Everyone has their own preferred exam preparation methods. What are some techniques that work for you? There are so many helpful study resources available nowadays, like study apps and online tutorials. Which ones have you found to be most effective? There are so many helpful study resources available nowadays, like study apps and online tutorials. Which ones have you found to be most effective? There are so many helpful study resources available nowadays, like study apps and online tutorials. Which ones have you found to be most effective? There are so many helpful study resources available nowadays, like study apps and online tutorials. Which ones have you found to be most effective? I find that a change of scenery can help me focus during exams. Where is your favorite place to study? I find that a change of scenery can help me focus during exams. Where is your favorite place to study? I find that a change of scenery can help me focus during exams. Where is your favorite place to study? I find that a change of scenery can help me focus during exams. Where is your favorite place to study? The stress of taking an exam can be overwhelming. Have you considered talking to a counselor or therapist for support? The stress of taking an exam can be overwhelming. Have you considered talking to a counselor or therapist for support? The stress of taking an exam can be overwhelming. Have you considered talking to a counselor or therapist for support? The stress of taking an exam can be overwhelming. Have you considered talking to a counselor or therapist for support? To maximize your focus during the exam, it's important to minimize distractions, such as phones or people surrounding you. To maximize your focus during the exam, it's important to minimize distractions, such as phones or people surrounding you. To maximize your focus during the exam, it's important to minimize distractions, such as phones or people surrounding you. To maximize your focus during the exam, it's important to minimize distractions, such as phones or people surrounding you. Cheating during an exam is never acceptable and can have serious consequences. It's important to prioritize academic honesty. Cheating during an exam is never acceptable and can have serious consequences. It's important to prioritize academic honesty. Cheating during an exam is never acceptable and can have serious consequences. It's important to prioritize academic honesty. Cheating during an exam is never acceptable and can have serious consequences. It's important to prioritize academic honesty. Taking regular breaks during study sessions can help you recharge and maintain focus. How often do you take breaks when you're studying? Taking regular breaks during study sessions can help you recharge and maintain focus. How often do you take breaks when you're studying? Taking regular breaks during study sessions can help you recharge and maintain focus. How often do you take breaks when you're studying? 
Taking regular breaks during study sessions can help you recharge and maintain focus. How often do you take breaks when you're studying? Knowing the format of the exam in advance can be really helpful for exam preparation and feel more confident. Knowing the format of the exam in advance can be really helpful for exam preparation and feel more confident. Knowing the format of the exam in advance can be really helpful for exam preparation and feel more confident. Knowing the format of the exam in advance can be really helpful for exam preparation and feel more confident. Breaking down exam preparation into smaller tasks can make the process feel less overwhelming. What are some tasks you've completed so far? Breaking down exam preparation into smaller tasks can make the process feel less overwhelming. What are some tasks you've completed so far? Breaking down exam preparation into smaller tasks can make the process feel less overwhelming. What are some tasks you've completed so far? Breaking down exam preparation into smaller tasks can make the process feel less overwhelming. What are some tasks you've completed so far? Meeting with a professor can be a great way to get clarification on any questions or concerns you have about the exam. Meeting with the professor can be a great way to get clarification on any questions or concerns you have about the exam. Meeting with the professor can be a great way to get clarification on any questions or concerns you have about the exam. Meeting with the professor can be a great way to get clarification on any questions or concerns you have about the exam. Practicing with past exam papers can be a great way to prepare for the upcoming exam. Have you tried practicing with past papers yet? Practicing with past exam papers can be a great way to prepare for the upcoming exam. Have you tried practicing with past papers yet? Practicing with past exam papers can be a great way to prepare for the upcoming exam. Have you tried practicing with past papers yet? Practicing with past exam papers can be a great way to prepare for the upcoming exam. Have you tried practicing with past papers yet? Studying with a group can be a helpful way to stay motivated and accountable during exam preparation. Studying with a group can be a helpful way to stay motivated and accountable during exam preparation. Studying with a group can be a helpful way to stay motivated and accountable during exam preparation. Studying with a group can be a helpful way to stay motivated and accountable during exam preparation. Time management is a critical skill when it comes to preparing for exams. What time management strategies have you found to be most effective? Time management is a critical skill when it comes to preparing for exams. What time management strategies have you found to be most effective? Time management is a critical skill when it comes to preparing for exams. What time management strategies have you found to be most effective? Time management is a critical skill when it comes to preparing for exams. What time management strategies have you found to be most effective? Taking a break to engage in physical activities like walking or stretching can help relieve exam stress and improve focus. Do you have any favorite activities to do during breaks? 
Taking a break to engage in physical activities like walking or stretching can help relieve exam stress and improve focus. Do you have any favorite activities to do during breaks? Taking a break to engage in physical activities like walking or stretching can help relieve exam stress and improve focus. Do you have any favorite activities to do during breaks? Taking a break to engage in physical activities like walking or stretching can help relieve exam stress and improve focus. Do you have any favorite activities to do during breaks? Improving your memory can take time and effort, but it's an important part of exam preparation. Improving your memory can take time and effort, but it's an important part of exam preparation. Improving your memory can take time and effort, but it's an important part of exam preparation. Improving your memory can take time and effort, but it's an important part of exam preparation. Creating visual aids like diagrams or mind maps can help you better understand complex concepts and remember information for the exam. Creating visual aids like diagrams or mind maps can help you better understand complex concepts and remember information for the exam. Creating visual aids like diagrams or mind maps can help you better understand complex concepts and remember information for the exam. Creating visual aids like diagrams or mind maps can help you better understand complex concepts and remember information for the exam. Exam stress can manifest in different ways, like physical symptoms or emotional reactions. Exam stress can manifest in different ways, like physical symptoms or emotional reactions. Exam stress can manifest in different ways, like physical symptoms or emotional reactions. Exam stress can manifest in different ways, like physical symptoms or emotional reactions. Missing an easy question on the exam can be frustrating, but it's important to not let it affect your performance on the rest of the exam. Do you have any tips for staying focused after missing a question? Missing an easy question on the exam can be frustrating, but it's important to not let it affect your performance on the rest of the exam. Do you have any tips for staying focused after missing a question? Missing an easy question on the exam can be frustrating but it's important to not let it affect your performance on the rest of the exam. Do you have any tips for staying focused after missing a question? Missing an easy question on the exam can be frustrating, but it's important to not let it affect your performance on the rest of the exam. Do you have any tips for staying focused after missing a question? Rewarding yourself after the exam can be a great way to celebrate your hard work and success. What do you plan on doing to reward yourself? Rewarding yourself after the exam can be a great way to celebrate your hard work and success. What do you plan on doing to reward yourself? Rewarding yourself after the exam can be a great way to celebrate your hard work and success. What do you plan on doing to reward yourself? Rewarding yourself after the exam can be a great way to celebrate your hard work and success. What do you plan on doing to reward yourself? Feeling confident about the exam is a great sign that you're well prepared. What study techniques have helped you feel confident about the upcoming exam? Feeling confident about the exam is a great sign that you're well prepared. 
What study techniques have helped you feel confident about the upcoming exam? Feeling confident about the exam is a great sign that you're well prepared. What study techniques have helped you feel confident about the upcoming exam? Feeling confident about the exam is a great sign that you're well prepared. What study techniques have helped you feel confident about the upcoming exam? Taking exams online can have advantages like flexibility, but it can also have some disadvantages. Taking exams online can have advantages like flexibility, but it can also have some disadvantages. Taking exams online can have advantages like flexibility, but it can also have some disadvantages. Taking exams online can have advantages like flexibility, but it can also have some disadvantages. What's your favorite exam memory from school? I remember studying with my friends until late at night and feeling so accomplished after acing the exam. What's your favorite exam memory from school? I remember studying with my friends until late at night and feeling so accomplished after acing the exam. What's your favorite exam memory from school? I remember studying with my friends until late at night and feeling so accomplished after acing the exam. What's your favorite exam memory from school? I remember studying with my friends until late at night and feeling so accomplished after acing the exam. I'm having trouble understanding some of the exam questions. Do you know any good resources for clarification? I'm having trouble understanding some of the exam questions. Do you know any good resources for clarification? I'm having trouble understanding some of the exam questions. Do you know any good resources for clarification? I'm having trouble understanding some of the exam questions. Do you know any good resources for clarification? I need to brush up on my writing skills for the essay-based exam. Do you have any tips for writing effective essays? I need to brush up on my writing skills for the essay-based exam. Do you have any tips for writing effective essays? I need to brush up on my writing skills for the essay-based exam. Do you have any tips for writing effective essays? I need to brush up on my writing skills for the essay-based exam. Do you have any tips for writing effective essays? Have you ever been caught cheating during an exam? No, I believe in honest academic practices. Have you ever been caught cheating during an exam? No, I believe in honest academic practices. Have you ever been caught cheating during an exam? No, I believe in honest academic practices. Have you ever been caught cheating during an exam? No, I believe in honest academic practices. I think it's important to balance exam preparation with self care, like getting enough sleep and exercise. I think it's important to balance exam preparation with self care, like getting enough sleep and exercise. I think it's important to balance exam preparation with self care, like getting enough sleep and exercise. I think it's important to balance exam preparation with self care, like getting enough sleep and exercise. Did you hear about the student who fell asleep during the exam and missed the entire section? Oh no, that's terrible. 
Did you hear about the student who fell asleep during the exam and missed the entire section? Oh no, that's terrible. Did you hear about the student who fell asleep during the exam and missed the entire section? Oh no, that's terrible. Did you hear about the student who fell asleep during the exam and missed the entire section? Oh no, that's terrible. Let's create a study schedule to stay organized and on track for the exam. Let's create a study schedule to stay organized and on track for the exam. Let's create a study schedule to stay organized and on track for the exam. Let's create a study schedule to stay organized and on track for the exam. I find it helpful to take breaks during study sessions to avoid burnout and maintain focus. I find it helpful to take breaks during study sessions to avoid burnout and maintain focus. I find it helpful to take breaks during study sessions to avoid burnout and maintain focus. I find it helpful to take breaks during study sessions to avoid burnout and maintain focus. Have you ever had to take an exam in a language you're not fluent in? Yes, it was really challenging, but I managed to pass with some extra practice. Have you ever had to take an exam in a language you're not fluent in? Yes, it was really challenging, but I managed to pass with some extra practice. Have you ever had to take an exam in a language you're not fluent in? Yes. It was really challenging, but I managed to pass with some extra practice. Have you ever had to take an exam in a language you're not fluent in? Yes, it was really challenging, but I managed to pass with some extra practice. I always review my notes right before the exam to refresh my memory and boost my confidence. I always review my notes right before the exam to refresh my memory and boost my confidence. I always review my notes right before the exam to refresh my memory and boost my confidence. I always review my notes right before the exam to refresh my memory and boost my confidence. I think it's important to stay hydrated and nourished during the exam to maintain peak cognitive function. I think it's important to stay hydrated and nourished during the exam to maintain peak cognitive function. I think it's important to stay hydrated and nourished during the exam to maintain peak cognitive function. I think it's important to stay hydrated and nourished during the exam to maintain peak cognitive function. I've been using flashcards to memorize key terms and concepts for the exam, and it's been really helpful. I've been using flashcards to memorize key terms and concepts for the exam, and it's been really helpful. I've been using flashcards to memorize key terms and concepts for the exam, and it's been really helpful. I've been using flashcards to memorize key terms and concepts for the exam, and it's been really helpful. Do you have any tips for managing time during the exam and ensuring you have enough time to complete all the questions? Do you have any tips for managing time during the exam and ensuring you have enough time to complete all the questions?
Do you have any tips for managing time during the exam and ensuring you have enough time to complete all the questions? Do you have any tips for managing time during the exam and ensuring you have enough time to complete all the questions? I'm so nervous about the essay portion of the exam. Any tips for writing a strong thesis statement? I'm so nervous about the essay portion of the exam. Any tips for writing a strong thesis statement? I'm so nervous about the essay portion of the exam. Any tips for writing a strong thesis statement? I'm so nervous about the essay portion of the exam. Any tips for writing a strong thesis statement? I find it helpful to write down all the important dates and deadlines for the exam, like when to register and when to study. I find it helpful to write down all the important dates and deadlines for the exam, like when to register and when to study. I find it helpful to write down all the important dates and deadlines for the exam, like when to register and when to study. I find it helpful to write down all the important dates and deadlines for the exam, like when to register and when to study. Let's use positive affirmations to boost our confidence and stay focused during the exam, like, I am capable and prepared to succeed. Let's use positive affirmations to boost our confidence and stay focused during the exam, like, I am capable and prepared to succeed. Let's use positive affirmations to boost our confidence and stay focused during the exam, like, I am capable and prepared to succeed. Let's use positive affirmations to boost our confidence and stay focused during the exam. Like, I am capable and prepared to succeed. I can't believe I missed that easy question on the exam. I must have misread it. It's so annoying. I can't believe I missed that easy question on the exam. I must have misread it. It's so annoying. I can't believe I missed that easy question on the exam. I must have misread it. It's so annoying. I can't believe I missed that easy question on the exam. I must have misread it. It's so annoying. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Leave a comment below if you found any content challenging and share your thoughts with other learners. Subscribe, like, and share this video to support us and stay up to date on new courses. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.